A look at what's going on in the big picture. The remnants of Irma have provided a little bit of a slug of rainfall into the area during the afternoon today. Quick shot of rain, half an inch of rain in a very short time across parts of the area. And of course, we've got to show you what's going on uh, with the latest on Jose. Here's the big picture. I want to show you with the latest on again uh, the track of Jose and the latest from the Hurricane Center as of 5 p.m. this evening. It has 70 mile an hour winds. It is a tropical storm, not a hurricane. West northwestward movement now at eight miles an hour and it's completing its loop the loop as we've expected. Now the forecast models today have spread out a little bit so we are on the western edge of that cone. I'm not especially concerned about it uh, because I think the uh, eye of the storm is going to be well offshore and that would even if it would be say a little bit closer right on into here just off of Hatteras we'd be on the good side of the storm the west side of the storm. The east side of the storm is certainly much more powerful in terms of rain and wind and tides, so we would be on the west side of it. So I'm not especially concerned about it at this point. And here are the forecast models between now all the way on into next week and really about eight days out, showing you what's going on to uh, eight, nine days out, a uh, week from Saturday. You'll note again, they've spread out a little bit today, a little bit wider in terms of what they're thinking is on where this storm is going to be coming up by Tuesday, right on into here. But there are some forecast models uh, that do take it a little bit farther westward today. Uh, so we'll have to watch it. I'm cautiously optimistic uh, that it's going to stay offshore. And I'm really quite optimistic uh, that we're not going to get a big thing out of this. We'll likely get some wind along the oceanfront areas and uh, certainly some surf out of that. Uh, but as far as anything else, it doesn't look like anything real, real big. Here's where things are at 9 o'clock this evening. We'll take you all the way on into Saturday evening. Overnight, very quiet. Here's where things are by 3 in the afternoon Friday. Stray shower or two. Nothing real, real widespread. Carry an umbrella. You might need it, but chances are most of us won't. How about Saturday? Same kind of story. A little pop-up showers during the afternoon hours and basically highs out of the low 80s for the day on Saturday. Now, here's a short time frame here. We're going to go from Monday afternoon at 1 on into Tuesday evening at 10 o'clock. Now, you will note uh, you've got these, these uh, lines right on into here, these wide lines. These are called isobars, areas of equal pressure. Where they get closer, that means that there's a stronger wind, and they're getting closer uh, together. There, there, there. And there's where things are by Tuesday morning at 7, likely getting some wind along the ocean front areas, possibly a little bit of rain with it as well. You know, I'm remembering once again uh, that the storm, uh, we're on the good side of the storm and not likely to be on the east side of the storm. Even by 3 in the afternoon, things are looking a little bit better as winds become more northwest and this was pulling on away. So I think we're looking a little bit better, even if this were to take place coming up on Monday night and Tuesday. So we'll watch it again. It looks like it'll be offshore regardless of anything. A isolated shower coming up on Friday afternoon, maybe Saturday and Sunday. Nothing real, real big. And again, Jose should remain offshore, uh, but we could get a little bit of an indirect uh, problem with it. Again, with high surf, certainly rip currents, possibly some windy conditions right along the ocean front.